This is the best pass defense in Madden 23. No! If you need a defense that gets relentless pressure, Run, bitch. Oops. instant sacks, <laughs> and tons of takeaways, If you want to learn what defense I'm using that is allowing less than 4 points a game in online play, as well as an exciting gameplay that goes down to the final drive, stick around after the intro. The here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The offense and defenses that I'm going to be using again today will be my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook and my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook one more time. If you guys have any interest in stepping your game up, you can always check out these ebooks. I have links in the description below. A little bit of a backstory for today's gameplay. I actually played the guy that I'm playing in this gameplay twice. I played him in a game where we only really got through the first quarter before it desynced. But before that happened, he did bust off a big run play on me and basically go up 7-0. I was in a position to score as I went right back down the field against him before the game lagged out. What? So I had a little bit of a better idea what he likes to do. Now this guy's a bit of a cheeser. He uses the Dolphins and he runs hurry up the entire game. The offense that I'm going to be using today though is going to be out of the single back deuce close. It's really all about two plays. The stretch and the halfback zone. Those are my two favorite. I picked this team because I really just wanted to run the ball with this formation. This is a very good run play. Especially against man zero blitzes. What is something that he's going to be using pretty much the entire game. I really just run inside sometimes to switch it up unless I see a lane. You can see right there, there really wasn't much of a hole, but I don't want to just keep running stretch, stretch, stretch. The second offensive formation I'm be using is the gun stack wide flex. I did go over this a little bit in a previous gameplay. I have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. I'm not going to go over it too much, but this is probably my favorite offense to run. This is one of my bread and butters between running and passing. If I want to pass a little bit, I'm going to come to this formation. If I want to run a little bit, I'm going to go to the single back deuce close. On the next play, you can see it's the fourth and three. He gives me a lane over the middle. I'm going to take it. And we get the first down. This play is really a good dink and dunk offense. You can see right here he's running a lot of cover threes now. So I'm just going to beat him up underneath with this swing route. But anytime I see a hole over the middle, I'm going to hand it off up the gut. It's all about the running back, that entire scheme. On third and five, I decided to go with my Saints fork play. I had the number one third down conversion rate in the entire Madden 23 top 100 using this exact play. So sure enough, every time I get to a third and five, you're going to see me pull that play out. Quack. Then we get inside the red zone once again. We're just going to hit him with that stretch one more time. On defense, the formation I want to show you guys today is out of the dime 146. But I'm not going to choose it against formations like the I-form close. As my opponent's in the I-form route the bat. Because this isn't necessarily the best short yardage defense. You typically want to save this play for people running shotguns. So anytime you see somebody in a shotgun formation, this is perfect. Now the play itself is the cross three fire. The setup could not be easier. All you really have to do is shift the defense in a pinch. It starts off like this, but once you pinch the defense, you're going to see the entire alignment changes. So at the beginning, you have these huge gaps. Now you have no gaps at all, making this a much better run defense. That's pretty much it. Other than guessing pass, there's not a lot you have to do. The next step, though, is to bring the user safety down into the box. Now, in this play here, I accidentally chose the deep zone safety. I made a mistake. I tried to switch over to the three rec, which is typically the one you want to use. But by the time I did, my opponent started the play. So I didn't even get the full setup in. On the next play, since he runs a hurry up, I'm already on that same user. So I can get the play set up in a lot easier. Here. you can see right here I bring him down over the box you're just gonna want to hover this gap before you drop back into coverage and like I said guess pass that's one of the most important things you are gonna see on the next play we get much better pressure getting in and we get an instant sack next up on third and five he's still running that hurry up doing the exact same thing I get my setup in real quick and easy because like I said it's a very easy setup only this time I try to switch over to the cornerback just to bring him off Tyreek Hill just a little bit and it actually works out in my favor as he just loops right around forcing an incompletion. He decides to go for it on 4th and 15. On the next play though really brings up a good point. Said in the pass is never a good idea to press in a cover 3 because a guy could just run right past him. Even with Tyreek Hill out there on an island he does not run right past his defense. Gotcha, bitch. I'd still be hesitant about it because on the first play you could see I did try to drop the cornerback back but you could still see that you're not going to get beat over the top as much as you might have in the past. Now the best pass Passing play in this formation is definitely the corner strike. All you really have to do is put the Y route on a streak and it's going to get the X route open against just about any single defense in the game. Corner routes are very overpowered and this one here because of the stack formation you see how they get bumped off the line from each other and we just throw it up and get a very easy touchdown on the very next play. So we're taking a 14-0 lead as my opponent 
is pretty much just running man zero blitz the entire game on the next drive i do go back to my base defense i mean they're both cover three matches that's pretty much what i run the entire game he does run the ball a little bit more on the next play i try to shoot the gap but i bite on the play action and get caught up the cover three match corners just do a terrific job on these outside routes on the next play though he does try to run the ball and we just shoot that gap Darius Leonard. Then on third and 12, we're going right back to that blitz. Anytime we have an obvious passing situation, this is what we're going to do. The reason I'm not losing in this situation is because I'm not actually pressing. I have a pinch defense, and this pinch defender doesn't press. He doesn't jam. He just drops back, which is why I'm not getting beat deep by these bombs. Nope. Then on fourth and 12, he's going for it again, and we're all over that with the user. Nope. We almost got a pick, but instead we'll settle for the knockout. So on the offensive side, we're just trying to run the ball here, kill clock a little bit. We get inside of field goal range, and I try to outsmart myself with a halfback slip screen when I should have just ran it. Damn! And we end up having to punt the ball away. On the next play, the blitz doesn't quite get home as one of my guys falls over. And then he beats my user. So on the next play, we decide to switch it up a little bit. Sometimes I find this blitz works best if you actually put your defensive lineman on a QB contain. So you can add this extra step to the setup. It's just hitting the RB, the R1 button twice. And you'll see on this next play, it has a lot more success, <laughs> causing him to throw the ball away and get an intentional grounding penalty. I call a timeout because I want to see where my fastest players are. Because I know that if I put my fastest players at these linebacker spots, especially safeties, the pressure will come in a lot faster. On the next play, he's throwing the ball out so quick since the blitz is in his head gotcha, bitch. that he's throwing an instant interception to my free safety and you can tell that this blitz is in his head my offense though at this point is really all about running out clock as you can see we get shut down inside the five and once again we're just going to play smart we're going to take the field goal now before half, my opponent makes a very interesting decision. He starts running the ball from the exact same formation that I'm running the ball from. Even though there's only 10 seconds left and he has to call timeout, he is not throwing the ball anymore. He is so frustrated trying to throw the ball against this formation. And then on the last play of the half, he does throw it up to once again to one of his faster receivers in Jalen Waddle. And he shut that down with a completely different defense. In the second half, based on the fact that I know he just started running the ball consistently, we switch over to a cover four, which is supposed to be one of the better run defenses, but we're running it out of the 4-3 even, which isn't working very well well you can see he's going right down the field with about eight yards of chunk play every single time or more so you can see he's having a lot of success with cutback lanes and stuff like that so i switch out i'm gonna i'm done with the cover four quarters from the four three even i'm gonna switch out to my number one run defense which is the cover four quarters out of the three four odd it may seem like the same thing but it's very different i want to make a video about this particular defense too if you guys want to see that hit the like button let me know in the comment section but this is a very shut down run defense he got me the second and one he calls a hurry up tries to go the opposite direction with the exact same stretch play and guess what shut we're shutting him down again on fourth and five though he decides to pass and this is a good pass defense but it's not quite as good as you can see there he just barely catches that right in front of the cornerback now we're trapped in this defense we'd like to go back to some more of our pass defenses but he basically ran the ball until we got out of it and he's going right down the field so we do switch it up and go back to our sam three wheel blitz which is still a very good defense you can get pressure out of this play too as you can see right there all i had to do was bring my user down over the gap and pull him back post snap he's having way more success than he was having against my previous cover three play and since he keeps me in a hurry up he keeps me in this defense and he scores his first touchdown Damn it! On the offensive side, we're still hitting with that stretch play. Jonathan Taylor was the reason I chose this team. We're going to use him. And you can see, he's still using that man zero blitz. To me, one of the best ways to beat man zero is come out in an even formation where there's slot receivers on both sides and put them both in zig routes. But you can see on the next play, once again, he's giving me that lane right up the middle, so I'm going to take it. But I go right back to that concept, and on the very next play, we throw the ball to Mo Alley Cox, who's not a very good tight end. <laughs> He puts the ball on the ground with a hit stick. Madden just trying to keep this guy in the game. But I always kind of think fumbles are BS, and especially when I'm on the sideline like that, it could easily roll out of bounds. So they give him the ball, but we're going to try to get it right back. On the next play, we go with that blitz one more time. I know because this pressure comes in so fast that he really has to throw the ball quickly, and we're just dropping back on that tight end gotcha, to get an instant interception. So the game tried to give this guy a way back into the game, but... How about new? And we're going right back to our kill clock offense, which essentially isn't working because this man zero blitz is coming in so fast and Matt Ryan is so slow. So we punt away one more time. Now with two minutes left, he's trying to dink and dunk because he doesn't feel comfortable throwing it up and he throws another interception because he has to throw the ball instantly. That's five for the game. We probably should have had a lot more on the offensive side, we're just going to keep running this ball once again. Our offense is not really working. And then on the next play, we just take the sack because we don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> on the next play, though, he does dial up something where Tyreek Hill finally gets past my cover three cornerback. <laughs> In all honesty, I probably should have been in a prevent defense of some kind just to let him kill clock on himself, but I figured he wasn't having any success against that play. I was going to use it until he beat it. So the entire game is pretty much going to come down to this. Can we get it? We miss with our user. 
but we get bailed out by the hands team. So we get the ball back on the offensive side and we're just gonna keep hitting with these stretch plays. This play's gonna have success against pretty much anything. See ya. And on the very next play, we're busting a big run. We probably could have scored, but we didn't wanna do that. We don't wanna give him any more opportunities. We're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a knee and he's gonna go ahead, he's gonna quit. But before he does, you can see his quarterback only completed 45% of his passes. So I went back and charted the entire game to see how he did against just this specific defense. And with the exception of the one play touchdown he scored at the end of the game, he only went two for eight the entire game with three interceptions two sacks and a penalty for intentional grounding so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this more gameplays more defensive videos number one be a subscriber number two hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that i'll have another defensive video popping up on the screen right now if you guys want to check that out it'll definitely help out your game and other than that that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below